Hi everyone, myself Prithi. Today, welcome you all for my YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to demonstrate how to use data store in GCP, and I will going to explain what is the differentiation between the data store and the fire store and the relational database. So, how does all this works, and what is the main differentiation which puts data store in the different table only? So, uh, what is a data store? So, data store is a NoSQL document database built in automatical scaling and high performance and ease win. Of application development so in the data store the main feature which uh, stands shy in front of all database about our data store is automatic transaction in automatic transaction it is very much guaranteed all will be succeeded or all will not be uh, occurred in occurred all will be occurred or failed so high availability and read for reads and writes massive scalability with high performance flexible storage for querying it is having a very good strong powerful querying language and we just want to query and the query consistency is very good in data store it is known as a document database database where it's going to use a nosql uh, and it's like you can correlate that with the mongodb it is been very popular nowadays for the nosql and the strong query language which it have it is you can correlate that with the same thing okay and it also give an encryption and the main important thing so this data store is a fully managed by Google. It is a serverless and it is no planned downtime. Means you cannot expect a downtime from the data from this uh, data store feature which is offered by GCP. So this is one of the very very good features which is offered by data store in GCP. So let me take you to the demonstration of how to create a data store, how to work with a data store. So first you have to go to the search bar and search for data store. So and you can get a data, data store here and you can able to navigate and you can go through here. So this is the data store. So where you can, when you click on this data store, it's going to navigate to the page. When you first comes to the data store page, it will appear like you want to choose a native mode or a data store mode. So like this, it's going to appear. So cloud fire store it is one of the next generation of the cloud data store actually. So in this you can you, you are having a two mode where is a native mode another one is a data store mode so where a native mode and a data store mode which is having a their own advantages and their own uh, use cases actually so native mode doesn't support all the runtime for the app engine for the data store it uh, supports all the runtime automatical scaling for the reads per second in the data store it is automatical uh, scaling in the millions for concurrent users and no limit for the writes for in uh, data store only 10,000 writes per second so real-time updates you can able to do it in native mode but you cannot do able to do that in data store mode so and web application uh, and web client libraries which is available in the fire store in the native mode so but in the data store mode it is not available so the consistency of query is very strong in the both kind of a mode but very important thing so data mode models where the differentiation I want to show you guys so this is a document which is published by uh, Google where it's going to show the differentiation between the relational database like MySQL what is the differentiation between MySQL and the data store and the fire store so the table in the relational database is known as collection group in fire store and in the data store it is known as kind so in the row in the relational database it is known as document in fire store entity in data store so relational database column is known as a field in data store it is known as property a primary key is known as document id in firestore and key in data store so these are the differentiation you could able to uh, compare the traditional uh, mysql database with data store so let me go into the demonstration so i will choose the select the data store mode so i will prefer the location so the pricing model of the data store depends upon the data store which you want to store the location where you want to deploy it so in the location please go here you can able to identify the location so the multi-regional see the sla level 99.999 so that is the percentage of availability which is offered in the data store in these two regions united states and europe but if we come to a regional level so these are the uh, other uh, other areas where you can able to deploy it in the regional level 
but the SLA has dropped from triple nine to double nine actually. So that's how the SLA is going to different differentiate. So when you are deploy deploying in multi regional, the cost will be higher for Europe and United States. But if you are deploying in other regionals, it is been very low compared to the multi regional levels. So I am deploying in US West Las Vegas and create a database. So now we have landed up in the data store web page. So so as you all know, uh, we have to create an entity. Entity is known as a, a row in the data store, and a kind is known as a table, and a properties is known as column. So please keep that in mind, uh, guys. So first, let us create a table. Table is known as a kind in data store. The table is known as products. So products. So I'll key uh, for the key identifier. I will leave it as it is. Auto generated and add properties here. Properties known as column. Column is known as name. So name and values. Let us. So the product name is Samsung. Name is equal to Samsung. Okay and done. And after that you can add color. See you. Color for that product black so after that you can add the memory memory let us make it as 128 GB please keep it in mind so the type will become integer so integer you have to enter 128 GB done and after that so the next property is uh, whether the stock is available or not. So that is one of the important. So here you can specify available. So for available, you can have a, you have to type you have to select the boolean boolean function boolean function. So here you have to you have to select true. True means the stock is available. If the stock is not not available, you can select it as false. So this is one of the typical uh, e-commerce website backend database. They can use this kind of a database for the query and for the uh, query language and all. So let us create another one entity. So let us put some uh, two or three products here actually. Once you click on create entity after creating one, so it is automatically popping up the kind means the table. And the properties means the column. Column is already popped up. So here you can able to see the functions available. The column name is available. The type which we have uh, seen the boolean. So uh, then here you can able to select true or false. And presently I am selecting true. And the color you can select white. And for the memory, so the only the values will be null. So we have to enter the null values here. Yeah, I will select. I will enter 64 GB and the name name of the product which I am giving as iPhone. iPhone 13 Pro Max. Okay. So I am creating. I have created two entries, two entities here. So let me create an another table actually. So create entity in the kind. Yeah, you can uh, edit it. You can enter your name of the table, order ID. After that, add properties. Here you can select order ID and the value. So let us for an, take an example. This is an order value, order ID. So after that, you can add the status of it. Status field, status as delivered or shipping or like that. Delivered, and in, and also you can specify the payment method. Or payment whether the payment is done or not so so that and all you can have the separate field like that so 
successful okay so uh, created another entry another one entry so sorry for the mistake spelling mistake so done next create so the important thing here you have to be uh, aware of here so when you are creating an order id you can map that order id with already created order products so in the products uh, we have we have entered two products sorry so in the products section if you can go for the samsung so you will want to get a one of the key so where you can take the key and map with the order id so this is the key uh, key literal you can copy this product id and you can go back so let us create another one entity and so this is an order id the key id for is auto generated and the parent field so in the parent field you can copy paste this key and you can edit this section order id you can able to give the order id it is a auto you can always it is an order auto generated field you can set it up so let us assume this is an order id just for an example i am telling you so this is the payment type you can and this is the payment so whether the payment is successful or not successful and, and the status whether it is delivered whether it is in shipping so let us make it as shipping okay after that create so once we create this order id i'll going to show you what is the differentiation so here you can able to see so this is the field which we have created so this is an product which has been mapped for this order id so like that you could able to organize your uh, database for the e-commerce website so i'll going to show you uh, how to run a query actually so that's one of the very important thing uh, if you are going for products uh, in the product table add query here you will going to get a four option where order by limit and count so count is an aggregation and in the selection method so where you can set, select where the where you want to match the conditions and all so i am selecting where the key the key you can able to see these are the the uh, these are the options you are you will going to get here actually so click on available is equal to the function which you are using is a boolean type so false or true so here you can able to select false so presently if i run the script you should not be getting any entries here because uh, we have selected all as true means we have the stock available for the products which we listed actually so if i select it as true it automatically appear two products should be available so one is samsung another is iphone 13 pro max these are the products which is available so let us run an another one script like a color so color is equal to string so whether it is available in the black so you can able to see so when you run a black as the color you could able to see so the product black which is been having list we have we have listed samsung as a our phone so the color is black so we are could able to see the color as black we could able to see and if i type white so we should be able to see a iphone actually so let us so see so we have got an a uh, color of white for iphone so please be a uh, uh, shoe it is a case sensitive kind of a thing so when you are running a script or a query so this all about this video guys so in the next video so i'll be coming up with uh, terraform video or like ansible video and then in the upcoming video i'll be coming up with those kind of a videos do subscribe and like my videos and support thank you all bye bye